food. On today's broadcast, Betterment launches 401k plans for business. Morningstar updates its iPad app for advisors. Vesterly raises a new round of venture capital and more. So get ready, FPPAD Bits and Bytes begins now. Hey everyone, I'm Bill Winneberg and thank you for joining me for this week's Advisor Technology News Broadcast. This week's top story features Betterment, as the automated investment service announced the official launch of Betterment for Business, the company's 401k plan for employers. Earlier this month, Betterment for Business received a very strong endorsement from the founder of a startup called Estimize, saying the plan was so easy to set up that it could potentially crush the 401k industry. With plan fees ranging from 60 basis points all the way down to 10 basis points for billion dollar plans and an interface built for ease of use, Betterment's offering might actually be the one that you recommend for your small business owner clients and you might even consider it for your own company's 401k needs. So among large 401 401k plans, established providers like Vanguard, Fidelity, and Financial Engines have a sizable advantage, but underserved companies establishing their first 401k plan should see Betterment as a very attractive solution. This somehow reminds me of how Betterment targeted young underserved investors, say in 2010. How about that? So before I go into the next news story, I feel like I have something to get off my chest. Here's how it's going to go down. So I saw the Inside ETF's uh, presentation that John Stein did about Betterment, and he said, advisors have disconnected solutions. There's a cottage industry of consultants that help advisors find technology solutions. It shouldn't be this way, which that's what he's saying right there, right? And so we created the Betterment Institutional Solution as the top-down solution that they all need. And look, Betterment's not the first one to do this. Now they're doing it with their business 401k plan. But take a look at Investnet. They bought Tamarack a couple of years ago. Last year, Fidelity bought eMoney. If you haven't been paying attention, you should know that the solutions that you use today are in play. And technology is not about one particular solution that's going to help you be efficient in your business. It's about the entire suite. You don't have to take it from me. You can take it from Deborah Fox because I asked her this question at the AICPA conference in Las Vegas. Here's what she said. I don't think there's a key piece of technology. I think that it is a key suite of technologies that are providing the automations for processes and also creating that user interface that's for, for clients and for the back office uh, work that's being done so that there's efficient use and full adoption and implementation of, of the technology offering. So there you have it. The single solutions that you're using, they are going to be acquired. The momentum is there, the cash is in this industry. That's what you can expect this year. So you're asking me, what do I do? Where do I start? How do I make progress in my business? What is clear to me is I need to step it up. I need to be doing more service for you, better service for you, get more due diligence information, get more research about vendors, solution providers out there. So you can expect more content, deeper discussions, not softball questions, but I need to get down to the heart of the matter of all technology solution providers so you can make good decisions for your business. Okay, so I get that I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. I'm doing something non-traditional, but you deserve it. Aren't you tired of the same old technology coverage in the industry? Aren't you tired of press releases and then no follow-up? I want to take the risk to connect with you, to make sure you're getting the answers that you deserve. It's not the least that I can do for you. It's what I need to be doing for you. So I'm going to finish up because I do have news on that Morningstar iPad app. I also have news on Vesterly's additional $4 million of venture capital that they raised. If you can't write content on your own and you need to give content or feel like you need to give content to your audience of clients as well as prospects, you can use that tool. I'm going to link that to fppad.com slash 179. That will have the Betterment for Business link, the Morningstar link, the Vesterly link, and maybe a few other stories there. I think I'm going to end it right there. Let me know what you think. See you next time. It's so complicated that many advisors end up using a consultant to help them put it all together. There's this cottage industry of consultants who just consult on software. What 
happens when you have lots of systems talking to each other. The whole proposition gets really expensive. It's hard for independent individual advisors to cobble the system. The cat's meowing, the microphone's off the stand. Not how I anticipated things going. 